Are you a moral person? I think so. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty moral on my channel. And I'm always preaching those Where do you get your moral, your values from? Uh, I love humans. I, th I think we're incredible. I think, you know, we're, we're a miracle, really, that we exist on this planet. I want to protect us. I want us to be happy. My morals come from, fundamentally, the desire to make people as happy as possible, to build strong, healthy, independent humans uh, who can live their lives freely uh, until a, a death of their, you know, hopefully a long life. And you are millennial, right? Uh, yeah. I noticed that millennials are very talented on one half. And then on the other half, they lack moral values. They don't have that. that. One side is missing. What moral values do you think we're lacking? All of them. Oh, this is news to me. I think I'm a pretty moral person. You do? Mm hmm And why do you think that you are? Oh, well, I think I arrive at my conclusions pretty well. Like, I want people to be happy. Um, so I'm in favor of things like uh, gays being able to marry or, or, or transgender people being able to live how they want because that seems to, in the long run, maximize people's happiness. It makes people feel uh, uh, free, you know, and in their own a, skins. Would a, a man who has values, more values, agree with all that stuff, homosexuals and stuff? I mean, I'm a man. I've got moral values, so Would I think a real that, man agree with homosexuality and lesbian and all that stuff? I think a real man would be very in favor of lesbians. How about homosexual? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Really? I'm a That's, homosexual. You what? I'm a homosexual. You I a have homosexual? to be in favor of it, yeah. Are you really? Mm -hmm. And what does that mean to be a homosexual? What, what is that? I'm a, just like you, uh, Reverend. I love all people. Uh, uh, every single one of them. But so. you love them in a sexual way, right? Oh, not the kids. But yeah, absolutely. I love folks. And so you're a homosexual? Uh, yeah. Well, I like I everyone, men, women. How did you become that way? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I was raised pretty well loving parents. Couldn't have been them. I have just figured around 15, 16, I like all, all sorts of folks. Figured I might as well carry that forward, you know? What does it feel like to be a homosexual? What is that feeling? You've been in love with women before, right? I assume right. you're straight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it feels pretty much like that. I find folks attractive, and sometimes if they're real nice to me, when I hit them up at parties, then I decide, hey, maybe we'll go on a date. Pretty much the same process, I imagine. So you like men, women, homosexuals, non-identity, and all that kind of stuff? Mm -hmm. Non-binary folk and trans folk, cis men, cis women, the whole spectrum. Really? Mm -hmm. You take anything that comes along? I have to find them hot. But uh, yeah, there are lots of hot folks all over the place. I think, by the way, you look wonderful today. So I are think you, you liking me right now? Oh. oh, no, not like that. I just think that you're fantastic. You're aged wonderfully. You have all this beard going on. You're well haircut. I think that you're a phenomenal example. Amazing. If you were into men, you'd have your pick of the cut. Let me tell you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Do your parents know you are like this? Oh, yeah. They're super nice. Your father's okay with it too? Oh yeah. No, Does my father's been wonderfully supportive. Strong though. Strong discipline kind of dad, you know? And, and he's aware that you're into all this? Yeah. Amazing. What do you think about uh, Islam? Islam? Oh. Well, I'm not a big fan of religion in general, so eh, not too much on that. But I think pretty much like Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, you know, it's in that ballpark. Do you know that they'll throw you off a bridge if they found out that you're a homosexual? Really? I've had they'll Muslim friends? They'll throw you friends? off the top of a building. I've had Muslim they friends. They cut your neck and show it on TV. Oh, I've never been around a Muslim on top of a roof before, but you know, maybe <laughs> if. I think, uh, I mean, we, we if don't you- don't go over that country. Oh, no, I mean, I love it. I mean, you can see I ain't yeah. leaving this place. But yeah, I mean, you know, if you go back just a couple years or it really, if you just go into some parts of the South, plenty of mean things Christians do into gays too, so. Like what? Oh, um, well, there's the conversion camps. That's a big one. That's, that's not mean, that's love. Uh, some would say, I mean, Muslims would, would say that it's love to release them from their sins. Would you rather have your hair cut off or, or uh, the help, uh, someone gave you help to overcome that? Which would you prefer? Uh, help to overcome like my hair? Or, or to get your hair cut off by oh. an Islam person? Well, you know, when you put it that way, I think I'd prefer the camp. But I don't like either. <laughs> Are you concerned about um, radical Islam? Uh, I'm concerned with how we're reacting to it as a country, what not so mean? much the Islam itself. Um, radical Islam, serious problem. Terrorist attacks, it's bad. Like, don't get me wrong, you know? Yeah. Um, but I worry that sometimes the reactions to those terrorist attacks can lead to much worse outcomes. So like, for example, the Patriot Act or the existence of the TSA and Homeland Security and uh, uh, ICE, I think that these are overreactions to problems that we could address better through more meaningful foreign policy. You don't, you don't believe that they're a security threat to us? 
Um, I would, I, I do think they are. I mean, 9-11 happened, it'd be hard for me to argue against that. Mm -hmm. But I think 9-11 and a lot of those other incidents were products of our really bad foreign policy. We keep destabilizing foreign governments. If we went in there, we helped them, you know, we helped them with their economy, we invested in their industries, we stopped hating them for the, who they are. If we loved everyone like you do, I think that we could get like way, way, way better outcomes. Should we help our enemies who will rise up against us at some point? and kill us. I think that by helping them, we keep them from rising against us. It not is by really. keeping them in their, in their country ghettos, in, in the third world. But helping them will not stop them from hating us. It's like, um, I mean, you lo like, you're a reverend, right? Right. Yeah, you, you know how transformative love can be. I know, I'm personally, in my life, I've met people who are going through dark times, who hurt others, drug addicts, who steal to feed their addiction, and by showing them love and compassion, you bring them up to a higher place where they're no longer willing to hurt anyone. I think we can do that on a, on a civilizational level. Well, most people don't have real love. They only have mama's love. Uh, what's mama's love? That love that you feel, that makes you think you're attracted to men, and anything, that emotional stuff, and the way your mind works. Did I get emotion. that from my mom? Yeah. Oh, darn. Uh, I thought, I mean, I figure that the way I like men is kind of the same the way I like women, so I don't know. Did I get, like, the liking women from my dad and the liking men you from like my mom? You like men in the same way a woman would like, oh, that women like men. Yeah. So you think, some women don't like men. So though. you think, well, lesbians. Yeah, lesbians. They those hate ones. men. Yeah. Well, some of them. No, they hate men. I've met a few lesbians. Oh who no, like men. I hate men. Damn. <laughs> well, I hope the men didn't do anything to deserve it. <laughs> they didn't. Oh. Well, they failed them in, in that they were not real men. You know, they didn't do the right thing. But but that so but the love you have, you realize that's mama love, right? Mama's hey. love operating through you. You hey, have listen. the mindset of a woman. I love my mom. She's been a wonderful force in my life. Right. If that's something I'm carrying through from her, then absolutely. Would you like to overcome her? Oh, not at all. I saw her just this morning. She helped me out, get, made breakfast for me. I'm lazy, you see, I slept in a little bit too late. <laughs> uh, she's wonderful. I, couldn't, I, I could never toss away a part of her like that. Could you ever be honest with her about herself? Uh, what, what about herself? You know how she is. She like controlling. She like uh, imposing herself on you. I think my, mo she my mom's not a helicopter parent, actually. She's, she was very reasonable, helped me with my hobbies, disciplined me when I needed it, let me be other times. Why did your father do that? Um, oh, my father did it as well. They just did it in different ways, you know. Is your father beta male? Oh, my, oh no. My dad's pretty, pretty big, strong guy. Uh, entrepreneur, self-made businessman, respected in his work field. But like why did he protect real. you? If he's not a beta, why did he protect you from your mother? Oh, uh, I think that my dad's pretty happy with how I turned out, actually. We had a heart-to-heart -heart talk last night. He had to leave real early in the morning today. And, oh, you uh, live with them? Uh, I came down. I live in, in, in uh, Washington. I came oh. down to visit them because they live in L.A. Oh, before okay. coming over here. I got you. And, uh, yeah, no, I think he's pretty happy with how I am, all things told. What do you think about the homosexuals when they compare themselves to black people and civil rights? Uh, I think it's pretty valid. Don't get me wrong. I mean, very different kinds of oppression, you know. Uh, black folk, gay folk, very different in the way it expressed in, itself. In what way are they different? Um, well, I mean, gays have never been made into chattel slaves, for one. That's a pr pretty big difference. Um, but in terms of the general, like, social pariah ship that they get, you know, the way that they're maligned socially, denied rights in certain places, I'd say, you know, there's a thread of comparison. A valid analogy could be made. Blacks were only discriminated against at the time because of the color. Homosexuals are, the re are rejected or discriminated because of their lack like, of moral values. They have no moral, so I don't know how you can compare an immoral person to more people who were discriminated against simply because of color. It had nothing to do with sex. I thought that you believed that nowadays blacks were uh, uh, in a fallen state and that they were They are, moral. absolutely. Well, then there you go. But, but before they went into the fallen state, the homosexuals used them pretending that they cared about the blacks, but they needed the blacks to help get their agenda out there, uh, that, their civil, that their issue is a so-called civil rights issues. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's right to compare immorality to black people for them to use black people in that way? Um, I don't think it's immoral, so yeah, I think it's totally valid. I think that gay folk, in fact, I'd go so far as to say being gay, more moral than being straight, in my opinion. Amazing.